This is about measuring and engineering. Measuring, you ask? Well, remember the words of Sir William Thompson, someone we better remember as Lord Kelvin. He said once, and it was recorded, about our knowledge. I often say that when you can measure what you are speaking about and express it in numbers, you know something about it. But when you cannot express it in numbers, your knowledge is of a meager and unsatisfactory kind. It may be the beginning of knowledge, but you have scarcely, in your thoughts, advanced to the stage of science, whatever the matter might be. We have measured the fundamental quantities like mass, distance, and time. Electric charge, among the others, the non-fundamentals are energy and power, force and torque, and many others. So mass we measured in kilograms, distance in meters, time in seconds, electric charge in coulombs, and about the others, energy in joules, power in watts, force in newtons, torque in newton meters. But some of those in science and engineering are quantities that are either too big or too small, and we talk instead of a watt, we talk of a milliwatt, or a nanowatt, or a kilowatt, or megawatt, a gigawatt. Prefixes is the name of the game. As convenient as acronyms are. A battery radio absorbs a few watts, let's say 5 watts. A residential building absorbs some 150,000 watts. We say more easily 150 kilowatts. Vancouver may consume, and this is a guess, 300 billion watts. We say 300 gigawatts. A transistor of an uh, IC consumes only two billionth of a watt, or two nanowatts. Engineering prefixes are T for tera, a trillion, G for a billion, M mega for a million, K for kilo, lowercase m milli for one thousand, micro for a millionth, nano for a billionth, and pico for a trillionth. Of course, there are other prefixes that we are used to. In general, we measure voltages with voltmeters and also oscilloscopes, and we connect them in parallel to whatever we're measuring the voltage with, and we measure currents in amps with ammeters, connecting them in series with whatever we want to measure. And we need to talk about what do we mean by in series or in parallel later. Power, we measure with watt meters, and a watt meter has four wires, and we connect Two of those as a nanometer in series, and two of those as a vol voltmeter in parallel. For the next class, bring handwritten, not typed, the definition and connection of a voltmeter, a nanometer, a wattmeter. Use Google, Wikipedia, books, but do not ask faculty or TAs for the answer. This is your research, hey? Draw a circuit with a voltmeter, a nanometer, and a wattmeter connections on it according to what you understood from your research. And check out with Google and friends how many bytes there are in a gigabyte, also pronounced a gigabyte, and explain the discrepancy between the definition given in class for a giga and the one you found in the computer industry, does the difference apply to hard drives?